Um, and I mean, the enemy kind of software in this film is, you know, while it's sci-fi, it's quite a real fear that I think people hold about kind of the future of AI. And I just wondered what you thought was interesting about kind of the concept that this film is built around. Um, yeah. Well it, well, it did feel a bit sci-fi when we first heard about it, if, but it felt very Mission Impossible. Mm. But now it feels like it's something everyone's talking about. Uh, and it's an interesting idea that... We write the future. Yeah, it's very prescient, you know. In fact, the way that they talk about how it began, it appeared mainly in news and social media. Mm. It could be happening as we speak. <laughs> What's that? And a domino effect. Okay. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, right, yeah. that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. You. No, thank you. And um, <laughs> Simon, I mean, what makes the Mission Impossible films so great, apart from, you know, so much other stuff, yeah. but the comedy and the kind of comic relief between those kind of high-octane action scenes and obviously your character is like a really big part of that. And I just wondered mm -hmm. what you enjoyed about playing with that kind of comedy in amongst all the action. Well, I think uh, getting to work with her. Mm. Um, no, you know, the thing is about, about this kind of tension, this film is so exciting and you do get so caught up in it. You need that every now and again. And it doesn't just come from Benji. There's lots of stuff from the other characters. Every character has a little moment of, you know, either wry uh, comedy or whatever. It's because, you know, th th life is a spectrum. You, you, you get the funny and you get the terror and it all happens together. And sometimes you react like that because you're in the midst of terror. So it's just, I think it creates a more real kind of feel to the mm. film. Would you say that your comedy came from Mission? My comedy? Talk about my comedy. <laughs> <laughs> your comedy. Your comedy. <laughs> no, that's a great answer, thank you. It's and um, you. Rebecca, I mean, we yeah. first meet you in this film in that kind of crazy desert scene. What was it like filming that? Because it looked insane on the screen. How was it for you? I have desert in contract. She basically, does. so anything I do, as long as there is sand You're in <laughs> my obviously knickers, but what? in my in my suit, let's move on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say the word. Uh, it was it was uh, it was a fantastic scene. It's a great scene. I mean, it's it's iconic. Good. I know. I'm going to say no, that because you can't. No, don't do that. No, no. But when you but do the eye patch, no, no, no. What is iconic? No, I'll tell her about the eye patch soon. But <laughs> iconic is the visual landscape of, of this incredible nature that is the desert, you know, she will eat you alive. Mm -hmm. And I love that, I love the juxtaposition of having someone like Ethan Hunt, you have Ilsa, you have, you know, phenomenally high powered, capable people in an environment that will just gollop, gollop you up in a second. Gollop you up. Mm -hmm. Gollop is a yeah. new, word, new word and we've invented it. Yeah. <laughs> You've got it. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and the eye patch, tell me about that. I'll tell you, the eye patch, basically there's a moment in this, in this film where um, Ilse is sort of lining up to take her shot and uh, it's all great, we're going in for it and I'm ducking down and McHugh grabs it and he goes, great, and I blink with one eye and I go... <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, no, no, blink with the eye and I went... <laughs> okay, okay, let's move the camera to the other side and then blink with the eye and I'm going... <laughs> <laughs> and he goes... <laughs> now. Okay, get an eye patch. <laughs> And that's why we've got the eye patch, because I can't wink. Ah, well, I mean, it looks very, very cool with the eye can patch. You wink? So, uh, I can wink see? both eyes. Next time, Simon can do oh, it. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Uh, the the eye patch, the eye patch adds another yes. level, so yeah. I think that's uh, that was definitely a good addition. Yes. And uh, almost out of time, just quickly, I want to ask about kind of the you know amazing action set pieces in this. Did either of you have kind of a favourite scene to film? Uh, what's the favourite moment on set that you were like, wow, this is so cool? I enjoyed a big fighting sequence on a bridge in in Venice. I don't want to give too much away, but um... Ilsa's fighting style has always been a real part of her character. Like she uses her whole body. And kill a thigh move. Kill a thigh move. I yep. love all that stuff. I got to watch Tom do his motorcycle stunt on the day. You got to watch I got Tom to do watch a stunt? Tom do a stunt. You're driving boats. I do drive you boats. You crashed the boat. But in terms of the moment in the film, being up there, watching yeah. him do that was, was um, very memorable. Yeah. Because yeah. You know, everybody was just It's just that breath. moment, isn't it? Yeah. And now that's it. Now he goes. Yeah. And then he's up and he take. I've got it on my phone. Are they do you? Yeah, they said I can post it after the film comes out of my footage of him doing that stunt. Is there a moment where you start watching him and yeah, the phone and the, just goes just down? Goes down. <laughs> <laughs> no, that sounds so cool. I'm going to watch out for that video. Yes, yeah, it'll I mean, be it's on my amazing Instagram. In the film, those are the best videos. Follow me, at Simon Pegg. <laughs>